Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Deberry, Florida, which is about 25 minutes north of the Orlando area and about 40 minutes or so away from Daytona Beach. So you can be at the beach or you can be day, day, uh, downtown Orlando as quickly as you want. Um, and the home behind me that we're gonna show you, this is what I would call a luxurious production builder. So if you're looking for a luxurious home with lots of upgrades, but at a production builder price, this will be a good option for you. Uh, we also have homes like this on our other channel, The Mellow Group, that you can see uh, quite often if you're interested in that. So this home here is going to be a five bedroom, three bathroom home with 3,611 square feet. The base price at time of shooting is going to be in the 500s, but if you want one like this, it's going to be in the north of the $800,000 range, especially with all the upgrades that we're going to see in here. This has got, it's a beautiful home on the inside, definitely luxurious on the inside, which is why we wanted to include it on our luxury home channel today. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and take a tour of this home. But before we do that, let me talk a little bit about the outside. Being that this is a an actual builder home they're currently using the garage as an office so these two doors over here that's actually the uh, garage it's going to be a two-car garage it actually comes as a three-car tandem garage but they've done an upgrade inside which actually makes this a little bit over 3,800 square feet uh, which adds a secondary uh, primary bedroom downstairs as well as a primary bedroom it has upstairs um, so currently you see with doors and windows that will be replaced with um, actual garage doors with a driveway that's going to be a paved driveway looking at the front of the home you can see that it's got some pretty neat features we got a lot of stonework stucco and then also this really cool uh, art arty design on the second floor which really gives a nice look to the elevation of this home so come up here and follow me we have a front patio area uh, where you can come up and see uh, where you can sit out here and enjoy the florida weather um, we have a little sitting area here for two people of course it's covered and then we go into the front of the home now this front door is a, is a nice door with some really nice glass work on it that does give you some privacy as well um, and of course the side little entry window here gets you plenty of light inside as you go so let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of this home Hey everyone, well, welcome into this home. And as you walk in, you're gonna notice how luxurious it is, especially when I'm looking to my right in the dining room, which we'll show you in just a second. But here we are in the entryway. The entryway does have the high ceilings, about 20, 22 feet high. And of course, above me is a nice chandelier. And you also see the railings that go up to the second floor where the second floor loft is that really opens up the space. Over here, they've done a really nice accent wall. Uh, all they did was paint it gray and then have these gold, uh, uh, gold sort of woodworking uh, features going along, which really helps pop this specific home. But what's really cool is over here, so follow me this direction. I'm gonna show you this dining room. Obviously a very spacious dining room. We have enough uh, area here to have an easily have an eight, eight piece dining room set. Um, this dining room set is really fancy too. It's got handles in the back for uh, pulling it out and going back in, which is really unique. I haven't seen that very often on chairs. We have this beautiful uh, light fixture above the dining room. And then of course, what really pops is what's over here, which is an additional thing that they've added. Uh, this would be something that if you're interested in this, you'd probably have to buy the model home or do this after the fact. And that's this woodworking area here. So we have woodworking coming in and then we have mirrored uh, little slots in there for all where all your wine goes. Very, very beautiful. And then of course, we have these three windows here to add extra light. And those three windows are actually standard features on all the homes. They just built this woodworking design here around the three windows. Really nice for natural light. Now on either side of this actual cabinet is gonna be some wallpaper that they have that really looks like natural stone going from the floor to the ceiling. And of course, talking about the ceiling, we do have a design in the ceiling too, with some woodworking there. It makes it look like a small tray ceiling. And we do have speakers throughout the whole house. So you have the whole house speaker system so if you have a party you can actually enjoy that now behind the camera is also the butler's pantry that joins the kitchen we'll show you that in just a minute so follow me this direction we'll go back through the entry and go through this hallway and they've done a really good job here with the accent this color here actually matches that dining room color we saw with the wine racks as we come into the main living area now the kitchen's over to my right we'll show you that in a second but it matches this little cabinet area here with the backsplash and everything and then this area will be a, like a little storage area so you have a little drop zone here where you can drop off your shoes your backpacks plenty of storage i think they have a whole bunch of uh snacks down here yeah look at that all these snacks for uh, people to come and visit so secret snack stash if you ever come in actually look at that just uh, if you want some chips be, be more than welcome to enjoy some there so let's go ahead and go over this direction and this will be the kitchen so we have our refrigerator ge refrigerator and of course some more cabinet work we'll go this direction first 
and show you what's over here. So this is the butler's pantry. Gave you a little sneak preview of it in the dining room, which is right here. And of course we have this really beautiful cabinet with glass front so you can put your wine glasses and things like that there. And then over on the left is the pantry. Now the pantry currently does have a, oh no, it doesn't, it's a privacy glass. I thought it was actually a clear glass, but it's a privacy glass. Um, so here's the pantry and we have our little strainers here for our spaghetti or whatever we want to do. So they have this all really nicely well designed, but you can see there's plenty of space here for all your dry goods. You can do all that and it has a ton of cabinets actually here in the actual kitchen as well. So coming back in the kitchen, let's talk a little bit more about this. We have a gray quartz countertop that goes throughout. And then of course we have this backsplash. The backsplash is like diamond shaped and it has like browns and copper tones and even some pearl tones throughout. Really, really beautiful. Goes great with these cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling. And then we come over here to the stove top and the actual vent that gets vented out and more cabinets. Now on the other side, we do have of course this uh, quartz countertop and this quartz countertop actually has a six centimeter waterfall flow right over the edge all the way down to the floor, which is definitely a popular design. We have our farmhouse sink, stainless steel, plenty of space here with the antique bras faucets. And then as we go, we have our oven and microwave combo. And then on the other side, we have our dishwasher. Now over the countertop, we have these really nice pendant lights. We have three of them. So they really go good with the rest of it. They have that also that bronze look to it, which really matches that backsplash and also the faucet. So behind me is gonna be the breakfast nook. So this breakfast nook is as big as some people's dining rooms. Set up right now for six people. We have this really cool light fixture over it. And of course it looks through the sliding glass door to a really nice patio area that goes out to the pool, which we'll show you in a little bit. So follow me this direction and we come to our family room. So again, as you can see, this is why I consider this a luxury home because of the amount of different things they've done on this, all the different accent walls. This accent wall is absolutely beautiful. We have that same gold tone woodworking that we saw in the front entryway. And then of course, the painted area. We have these light fixtures. There are in uh, these little inserts as well. And the inserts are an actual wallpaper. That's a texture wallpaper. So as you touch it, you can actually feel texture. It feels like a leathery leather feel as you actually uh, touch that. And we have the exact same thing on the other side where the actual TV is. Now you can set it up however you want. You can actually maybe even have the TV on this side if you want instead of this side. So however you wish to design it. It's a very popular design, the specific home. So come ahead and follow me. We're going to show you the pool bath, which is over in this direction. We do have our door here that goes out to the pool. And then of course we have this full bathroom. This bathroom has really nice granite countertops and also has the nice white cabinets and a nice light fixture also above it. Below me, we still have that ceramic tile that goes throughout the whole first floor of this home. And then of course we have the shower. The shower has got this nice antique bronze framing on it. And then of course we have hexagon tiles on the ground and this beautiful ge geometric designed uh, tile going all the way up to the ceiling with a matching tile from the floor tile going up to the ceiling as well on the other side is a really good accent. Now this one here does have that upgraded secondary bedroom, which is going to be right here. Typically this would be just a regular bedroom with a bathroom shared with the pool bath. But this one here does have secondary bedroom and also secondary bathroom. As we come in here, you can see how beautiful this specific one is. They have this woodworking in the ceiling that really just pops the room with this very centerpiece light fixture that just pops as soon as you walk into the room with crystals and antique bronze looking uh, fixture going on, king size bed. And of course we even have some woodworking on the wall uh, there that actually goes around both of the windows on either side of the bed. So we come over to the secondary bathroom. As we come in here, we can see that we also have a floating uh, cabinet here with looks like a grayish white or maybe bone color cabinet here, granite countertops, antique bronze faucets with the sinks that are sunken in underneath the granite. And then what's really cool is underneath the cabinet, we also have lighting underneath the cabinet, which really just really does make it look like it's floating in the air. Of course, we have the mirror and of course these bronze uh, lights above the mirror. Behind me is the tub shower combo. Uh, they also have some really nice tile work going around with uh, like a gray, uh, clear gray uh, accent tile going all the way around on both the bath and also the shower. And the shower goes all the way up to the ceiling. Even the water closet has been done with some painting with some white lines and some uh, like a brownish gray color paint. And then we do have 
a walk-in closet here. Also done with some really neat paintwork going from the floor to the ceiling and plenty of space to hang all your clothes. So let's go ahead and walk over and go over to the other side of the house. Now, if you haven't done already, please make sure you hit the like button. That's all I ask. If you can do that, I really appreciate it. And if you want, if you do enjoy looking at luxury homes all about through the state of Florida, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. Um, and we do post once every week and uh, show you some really cool homes throughout Florida. And we're hoping to get even higher price homes here really shortly. We're trying to get some stuff down in Miami. So I'll go ahead and meet, oh, actually, before we go upstairs, let me talk to you a little bit about this. We do have some nice woodworking going up. Um, dark, looks like dark cherry woodwork going up and also the railings, it's like a black color with also the spindles. And then just halfway up this wall area, they do have this cool design in the wall with this really unique light fixture above that I think it's a really cool feature. So let me go ahead and actually, oh, before I go up, one more thing. Um, we have this, this is usually the Harry Potter room, the under the stairs room. They've actually set it up for a dog room with like a weighted hinge. I've never seen this before. So if you, it's actually pretty hate. Now, if you had a big dog, I think a big dog could get through here, but if you had little dogs, they may have a struggle getting through here. And then of course we have this really cool room here where they have their old dog beds and everything else. So a pretty cool little feature for those of us that are dog lovers. So I have three of them. So I do, do tend to like dogs. So I'll go ahead and meet you upstairs. All right, so here we are on the second floor. We do have a lot of nice woodworking going all the way through as far as the flooring is here. Um, over to my left is gonna be the primary bedroom. We're gonna go ahead and show you that first before we show you the rest of this second floor. So welcome to the primary bedroom suite. We do have the French doors that come in here. Look, I'm gonna shut, shut the camera out. French doors as you open up, which is a feature that some people really, really like. And of course we have our king size bed and plenty of space. We have a little sitting area over here. So very, very spacious. Above me is a tray ceiling. What they've done with this tray ceiling is they've added some woodworking and they've actually painted the woodworking white to match the actual ceiling color. So it gives you this really intricate design and they left the center out so that the fan can fit in there really good and uh, work real well. So we also have an accent wall over behind the bed with this beautiful wallpaper. And of course we have some more woodworking and mirror inserts throughout. So that's really neat. Over on this other side, we do have a door and the door goes out to a balcony. So if you wanted to sit out and enjoy the Florida weather, we could do that. So let me see if I can get out there. Yep. So really beautiful floors out here. And of course, plenty of space for your couch and it overlooks the pool area and also the conservation lot. So let's go ahead and go to the other side. Now, if you're interested in buying or selling a home in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My direct number you can reach me at is 407-487-3030. And then I'll show you that. But oh wait, we have we've got the we've got the bathroom. So let's go over this way. We've got the whole bathroom. So let's go this way and show you this. So as we come in here, this is the primary bathroom. We have some really nice tile work here. And then of course we have our countertops. What's really neat about this is that they've had, they have this, uh, uh, this tile work that's also a hexagon tile work. Sort of matches the kitchen as far as the colors go with the coppers and the browns and the pearl colors. Goes all the way up to the ceiling with this really nice uh, mirror that's got uh, like a brass outline. They also have the, the brass light fixtures above. And of course we have a little area here for makeup and then a duplicate sink over on this direction. Now, this is the shower. The shower is a frameless glass shower. And then we have the tile work that was up and check out this thing. I mean, look at all the different little knobs and switches and stuff. I'm sort of tempted to turn it on right now, but that might not be good. <laughs> it looks like you'd be in a hurricane in there. So, but we also have those same hexagon uh, tile going all the way up to the ceiling that matches, of course, where the mirror is. Over behind me here is gonna be the water closet. And then we have our main closet right here in the main closet, we go back into this hardwood floor. And then as you can see, it's very, very spacious. This could actually be current. This can also be used as um, putting all your clothes right now. They have it as sort of like a little demo for how they built the homes. They have like a little secret thing for the brickwork and stuff like that behind there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the other side of the house. I'll continue what I was talking about when I was messed up and forgot all about the bathroom. If you are interested in buying or selling here in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My phone number is 407-630-8484. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about the different areas in Florida and which area works best for you and find you the best realtor in that area if I don't work that area. So 
here we are. Here is bedroom number three. They have this one all about exploring. Uh, so it brings back some memories. I just was uh, down in Cancun and I did some uh, repelling with these lines and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. Um, highly recommend it for anyone who wants to do it. And we also have this like reused palette going all the way from the backsplash here all the way through the ceiling. As you see, these interior designers do amazing work. Of course, if you watch these videos, you can get some really good ideas for your house as well and what you can do with your existing house. This one here has a window that goes out to that actual patio area. And then we do have a closet here. They've even painted the closet with greens and blues and grays. So pretty neat there. So let's go ahead and go back around. I'm going to show you my daughter's favorite feature of this whole house. Believe it or not, this is my daughter's favorite feature is this wall right here. So I think there's some better features than that, but this is what she liked the best because what it was is that you have this artwork going along here with this woodworking. And then it's actually, if you open it up, it's where the actual air handlers are behind it. So it's like a hidden wall, but it's sort of like these two, these two here open up, but it actually matches this third one, which is just actually part of the actual wall. So it looks like it's part of the wall, but it's not. So pretty cool feature. Um, and then we come here, this will be another bathroom. This one here is actually, gives you an ex example of what you do if you just don't want to do any upgrades or very few upgrades. Uh, this has a very basic countertop and then also the sinks and of course the cabinets. And as you see, there's really not that many upgrades here. Even the, uh, the tub area is a more of a basic tub area with the actual tile work that you can see as a, like a baseline tile work. So it gives you a good idea of what you could get if you don't want to spend a lot of money in upgrades. And then we come over on this direction, this will be bedroom number four. Um, and really cool bedroom here. It's a lacrosse bedroom. Seems like some of these interior designers like lacrosse because I've seen lacrosse quite a few times, a lot more than what I see, like actually people play lacrosse, but they have this really cool design here that they've actually had to measure probably to make it look so, so uh, geometric, geometrically correct. And of course this woodworking, this woodworking is really cool when they have it going up with these, uh, you know, the grays and then the really like the dark blues. And then they have all these different angles and it goes in a, like a really neat little area going back towards the door and then back down the wall. So it's really neat. Another, one thing that you do notice about both of these extra bedrooms that we've seen so far is how spacious they are. Very, very big, bigger than some people's primary bedrooms. We do have a walk-in closet over here as well. So let me go ahead and go over and show you. So now we're in the loft area. So this will be, if I'm standing here, I can actually see the front door. So when we came in, this is where I'm at right now. And then we open up to this beautiful loft area. Now to my right is going to be the laundry room. They have this uh, barn house door that you can open and close. Um, but this one here, they do have quite a cool amount of upgrades here. They have the sink, they have plenty of cabinets and they have, what you can do is you can wash you can dry and then you can fold. So you have all those things. And if you forget that order, so you don't want to make sure you don't want to dry first and then wash, they have it right here on the wall for you. Wash, dry, and then fold. So you'll never get confused on the order that you need to do your laundry in. So let's go ahead and show you this loft area, which is really cool too. Gives you some really good ideas of interior design work. Went and I'll show you this accent wall over here, but they have plenty of space here for this huge sectional. We have this really neat light fixture here that goes all different sort of directions, sort of like a Tetris thing with LEDs, light bulbs coming out. And then we have this built in area, entertainment area here with drawers. We have a quartz countertop. We do have a fridge here for your beverages. And then we have tile and also shelves that go up. And I'll show you a little bit about what's going on over here. So when I come back over here, we have more of the stuff. Now, check this out. This, this stuff here is actually um, used to actually camouflage like outdoor things. It's, um, it's not AstroTurf. AstroTurf's for the floor, but it's actually like a, a, like a fake bush. So if you have things outside that you want to sort of hide away from your HOA, I've done this before. You can use this around it. So it looks like it's actually part of the bush. It, it camouflages itself. And of course we have all this, uh, re it looks like re reused wood here as well, or repurposed wood going around, which gives you a really cool little feature there. So we have another bedroom, bedroom number five, which will be along here. So this is bedroom five. This is about photography, but not just photography. Uh, they do have a closet over here that's got like, blues and light blues and dark blues and pinks in the closet. And then above me is a octagon design with woodworking, pretty simple design to do. 
uh, that sort of adds a little bit with this light fixture that comes down. And of course, behind me is the bathroom. This bathroom does have some cool up dates or upgrades. What I really like that really stands out are these floors. These floors look sort of like rustic floors with light blues and dark blues and whites. And they sort of all go together and match and make these squares. And of course we have our white cabinet and our quartz countertop. And then behind me is gonna be a tub and then some tile work that goes up to the ceiling. So that's this that second floor. We still have to see the pool area. So what I'll do is I'll see you down in the pool area and we'll finish everything there. See you down there. All right, so here we are outside. They have a nice pool out here, as you can see behind me. Uh, some really cool little uh, little sitting area here. And then of course we look out in the conservation area. Now we do have an area here where you can hang out. I don't even know, I guess this is like a little lounge chair that's on the floor, a little bit different than I'm used to, but that's cool. And then we have a little sitting area on the other side uh, that's like right outside of that family room. This door here is the door that we saw that went to the pool bath. And as we come down this direction, we do have the safety fence that goes all the way around the pool. And then we come into our actual patio that's set up for the you know the six people dining right here where you can do it and they even have the speakers here so if you want to enjoy that music that we heard inside or we can hear inside you can also hear it out here so that's this home again if you're interested in anything here make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you all next week take care bye bye